Hey guys, Daniel Mann here, and today I want to give you four tips on how you can shoot more Pagris Aratus. Snapper. On the east coast of Australia, snapper are probably one of the hardest fish you can attempt to shoot. They're very smart and they're very shy, but they are also very accessible. You can shoot these things shore diving or out of a boat. They're available as a target for everyone. Number one, silence and stealth. These fish are very smart, they're very wary. If you're splashing around on the surface, they are not gonna hang around. Make sure your duck dive is perfectly executed so that you don't make any noise on the surface when you leave to go dive. Spit your snorkel out. If you don't already, you should be doing it because if you black out, it's a risk that water will travel straight down your throat. So always spit your snorkel out and you won't get that blub, 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 blub on the way down. Notice you hear very little noise when Tim dives and leaves the surface. Look how still he is on his approach. Of course, being a good shot helps as well. And this wasn't just a fluke. He found this school about half an hour later and shot another five kilo fish. This dive is a little easier for me because the snapper are sitting in the saw tails, still mid water, so my dive has to be very silent and very stealthy. This leads me into point number two. This is probably one thing that will piss divers off more than anything, is if you're trying to shoot snapper, just shoot snapper. Forget about every other fish that's out there. If you're trying to shoot snapper, shoot snapper and only snapper. Here I'm looking through the saw tails and I saw a nice snapper out the back. I'd done several dives here and got impatient. I thought, they're not coming back. I'm not good enough to get one of these. So what do I do? Shoot a stupid mangrove jack. And guess how many snapper I saw after that? Zero. Tip number three, get on the bottom. It is surprising how many divers say, yeah, I was on the bottom, but they were actually floating three or four meters off the bottom. It is very rare that snapper, or most fish for that matter, will approach you while you're sitting high off the bottom. When you get to the bottom, make sure that you're well covered and that you're relaxed. You want your position to be very natural so that you're not tensing your muscles unnecessarily so that you can hold your breath longer because let's be honest, these fish require it sometimes. You can see I've raised myself off the bottom for a shot. The snapper immediately turns away once it sees me. Not the greatest example right here. However, luckily for me, a few fish approached a few moments later. Pretty stoked on this, it's what you really want uh, when you come to Brisbane. Tip number four follows on from the previous tip. Once you're on the bottom, make sure you get some cover, either behind a rock, behind some sand that you've just thrown up, or in this case, dirty water. Whatever you do, just make sure that the snapper can't entirely see you. That way, its curiosity will be aroused because it doesn't know exactly what you are.
As you're about to see, I was super stoked on this PB 6.5 kilo snapper. Thanks for watching guys. If you've got any tips for shooting snapper, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one.